Let us now get into the fifth structure, which is the matrix structure. In the case of matrix structure, there is an involvement, or let's say there is a particular project that happens. The project manager has discussion, is, is, is in line or is, he has coordination with the production team, the marketing team, the, the, the human resource team, the, HR, the finance team and other teams that are involved in that particular project. So there is a proper coordination as far as the metrics is concerned. It is unlike in the case of a business unit where there could be some conflicts between different units, that doesn't happen as far as the metric system is concerned because one particular project is assigned to a particular team when that particular project is assigned to that team he coordinates with various departments he is talking to various departments so the advantage with the metric structure is that proper coordination happens proper accountability happens training in different departments takes place unlike in the case of strategic business unit structure where the, there could be a dysfunctional conf conflict that could arise because of each different units or divisions that happens or business units that takes place. Now, for example, if a particular strategy is adopted in Indian market and that same strategy is not adopted in the Latin America market. Now, in the case of a strategic business unit, there could be problems that could arise in Latin America because this particular strategy is not adopted in that particular area. Whereas in the case of a metric structure, since it's, it's based on a project, on a particular project, so the project manager is the sole responsible for that for the upliftment of that project he has to take care of the profitability of the project he has to take care of the functioning of that particular project he in order to take care of the functioning of that particular project he needs to take care of the coordination between various departments he cannot say that I will not coordinate with the finance department I will not coordinate with the marketing department because the information that comes from various departments becomes very important for the implementation in this particular project it becomes becomes very very important to take a proper strategic decision it becomes very very important to to formulate a particular strategy in order to see that the project is profitable as a whole so the coordination becomes very very important it also helps as a training ground to train in various departments because when you are functioning as a project manager you are getting trained in various departments now you may not be a person from the marketing department you may, may be a person from the production department however because of this particular project your involvement into marketing also happens you may have to move in the market you may have to visit various customers meet various customers to gather information about that particular project to improve that particular project and to come out with better strategy as far as the product project is concerned indirectly you are learning about the marketing aspect in the case of finance you are understanding the various aspects that are involved as far as the finance is concerned so that way there is a proper there is a learning ground for the project manager of various departments because of his involvement with various departments it's not that he he just comes out he's a project manager for a particular project he doesn't coordinate with other departments coordination becomes very very important as far as the matrix structure matrix structure works on the coordination between various departments so it becomes easier to take a decision as far as a particular strategy or formulation of a strategy is concerned because the involvement of various departments are there and also it is the strategy is confined to that particular project it is not for all the projects together it is confined to specifically to that particular project let's say if i want to come out with a division that is into manufacturing of footwear now when i say when I say footwear, let's say there is a project manager who has been specifically appointed to design better uppers as far as the footwear is concerned, to design better look of that particular product. Now, he coordinates with the finance department to understand what is the costing for that particular product, to what extent the costing is allowed. He understands with the marketing about the feedback of the consumers as far as the product is concerned. Now, his his is, is to use the laborers in a better way in order to come out with a better product as far as that particular project is concerned. So his basic project is to design an upper which looks very beautiful, which is very attractive, which is very comfortable as far as the customers are concerned. So he needs to coordinate with various departments in order to come out or design a strategy to come out with a better upper as far as a footwear is concerned. So he is solely responsible and in charge for that particular project that has been designed to him 
or assigned to him so development of strategy becomes very very important as far as this project is concerned so in the case of a matrix structure yes the coordination is the most important thing with various department at the same time the learning of various department also happens as far as the project manager is concerned he becomes a profit center as far as the metric structure is concerned